Look at them, they're wedged up in there. Look at this. That's insane, guys. They're nesting inside the gutter. You silly, silly goannas trying to break in. They have every other place for them to hide and to nest. Why do they want to nest inside the house gutter? Look at that, guys. Juvenile baby goanna right there. Super feisty, right out the egg. He's going to be a straight alpha when he grows up. Look at him, look at him, guys. He's just, he's not afraid. He's angry right now. Oh, whoa, whoa, and he's feisty. Calm down, buddy. No way. What do you see, dude? Hold on, my, my uncle has a ladder, dude. Come down, come down. No, what the? Wait, what? Is... What on earth? <laughs> what the fuck? Let me see. Here. Catch. Oh, shoot. Nice catch. Welcome back, ladies and gents, to the channel. We have our boy, Nature's Frontier, Dave. How's it going, Dave? How you doing? And we have the Iguana Ninja. Yeah, what it is, what it isn't, what it is going to be. It's and what do boy. you have there, my friend? I have a wee toddler. I was going through some bushes, and I heard something fell, and then I ninja grabbed it with two fingers, just like this. Really? Yeah. This is a juvenile Iguana. What oh, do you think yeah. it's been eating up here? Shh, probably everything, man. Yeah. He's probably just hatched, what, like a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago. Look how fatty, look how big. Dang, do they come out the egg that big? He's already like, what, like six, seven inches already? Yeah. <laughs> That's incredible. That's incredible. Ready to mess up our Florida land. So as you guys can see, just from the intro of the video, we are going to be doing some night excursion and removal of baby goannas. As you might have known, they just laid a bunch of eggs the last couple months. We are in the hurricane rainy season. The rain is triggering the biological hatching of these baby iguanas. So if you guys wanna see us and see how many baby iguanas we catch on tonight's adventure, all you have to do is just keep on watching. We got the first one. In the bag. You're coming with us, buddy. We got a couple questions for you. And as you can see, we're gonna be using this net. This is a really handy tool right here. It extends to about 20 foot. And this would be the perfect tool for us to harvest some baby goannas. Now, come with me, and you'll be in the world of Iguana Nation. All you have to do is believe, and you'll see some iguanas. If you want to catch iguanas, all you have to do is come to Florida. They are sleeping everywhere in the bush. And we have a net. We're gonna put him. Net on that one. Come with me. And you'll be in the world of your imagination. you'll do oh is be goodness. caught. This is a fox shaver. If you want to catch iguanas, all you have to do is believe. And there we have it. A silly iguana. Look at him. Right now, he is super, super cranky. We just woke him up from his nap. He's a fat one. He's gorgeous. Look at that coloration of that baby. Yes, you are. Oh, don't lose his tail. Don't lose his tail. I know you're feisty, buddy. We just have a couple questions for you, though. Okay? Put him in the bag. Run away. So that's our second baby iguana for the night, guys. And I'm going to my uncle's house today. We're going to be doing iguana removal. Yes, guys, I even have to do iguana removal at my family's house. You know, he has a lot of them. So we're just warming up right now. And we're going to see how many more we can catch. I see some more right there. Move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Iguanas like to move it. Move it. You're coming with us, guys. Come here. That's four already? We just started this job, guys. This is insane. 
We already got four of them in the bag. Gee willikers, look at that. They're so silly. All right, guys. Good night. Oh, there he is. Oh, bring him here. Bring him here. Got you, buddy. Got you, buddy. We know your brothers and sisters got away. Oh, well, look at him. He's feisty. He's pissed. He's pissed that we woke him up. Whoa. Whoa. Ow. 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 He bit me. Get him, Ninja. All right. Cool. Thanks, Ninja. That was a good way to make up my mistake. No problem, bro. In the bag. Whoa. Look at that. And that's in what, like five minutes we've been here? Yeah. There's a lot more. You're right. We got to look at different angles. Yeah. Potentially there could be chameleons out here too, bro. All right, guys. So since we got these iguanas, we want to make them kind of feel safe, even though they are in here. We don't want to stress them out more than we have to. So what's a good thing to do is put some substrate in there that they're actually living in. It'll make them feel more at home, right? Exactly, exactly. Maybe they might just, you know, go back to sleep and maybe they might just think this was all just a little dream they had. But we'll put this substrate in there, make sure there's no bugs and stuff on it that will hurt them. And then now they feel like they're in kind of like a nest, you know? They like to be in closed, uh, enclosed areas, but, but just by putting the substrate, it's gonna make a big difference for them on, on making their stress levels go down. We don't wanna stress them out. We already caught them, we already woke them up from their nap. They're probably really, really cranky right now. So we want them to just go back to sleep. What do they do? Stay tuned, y'all. Night removal has just begun. I'm with Nature's Frontier Dave. I'm with the Iguana Ninjas. And I'm with all you guys watching at home, so stay tuned. So we've been doing a lot of night removal and we noticed that there's these weird apple looking things kind of hanging. No, get that, there's a ripe one over there, Ninja. It's yellow. Ninja says they're jackfruit. I don't know, I, I heard they're called swamp apples. At this point, we have no idea what they actually are. So maybe you at home can tell us what is this thing, guys? Look at it, let me see something real quick. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a jackfruit. Is it? Yeah. Smell it. Oh, it smells good. Yeah, it's jackfruit. Is this, is this ready to eat? No, don't. Don't put that in your mouth. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Ugh. Drop a comment. Let us know exactly what it is. I, it could be a jackfruit. It smells it smells like a jackfruit. It smells good. I never smelled one before. But let me know in the comments down below what you think. <laughs> in the bag. Why, y'all? Uh, he's right here. There's a swamp right. He's right there. He's right there. He's going. Look, look. Zoom in. Look, I'm going to flash it. What on earth? That's a fat swamp rat. Gee, will it curse? What do, you think, what do you think he's looking for to eat? Probably a jackfruit, dude. If I was a swamp rat, I'd be in that. Look at all those ducks over there. I don't know if they can see that. But guys, there's a lot of wildlife that needs to be removed from this little ecosystem. We just encountered like three or four of them. We got uh, the, 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 the jackfruit fruit, baby iguanas, Muscovy ducks, and we just saw Rats. A, a, a swamp rat. Swamp rat. It makes sense though. This is a swamp and there's food here. So also there could potentially be large snakes here, like pythons or even venomous snakes. Oh, turtle. See a turtle? Get that turtle. turtle. Get him in that. Net him. He's in that middle of the bush. Go farther than him. Go farther than him. There's a lot of stuff in that net, bro. Oh my you God. You didn't get him. Uh... Think he's in there, Ninja? Yeah, he's probably up. Just bring it, Ninja, and flip it. Or can you or no? It's gonna break. All right. Pick uh, it up from the handle. Pick oh. it up from that net. Yeah. I'm trying to see if he's in here or not. Let me feel. Wait. What is that? That's him, dude. Oh, Flip it up. It. Flip it up. Oh wow, you got it. Flip it up. He's something. It. Something's definitely in there, bro. Let's see. We're just gonna just dump it on the dock. Yeah, you got him. Oh no way. Yeah, you got him. Sweet. You feel me? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at him. Careful, dude. He could be a snapper, bro. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, yellow, yellow belly turtle. Oh my goodness. Yellow slider. That is a dirty boy right there. Look at that. Gee, yeah. really cool. Good grab, Ninja. Oh, God. Ninja grabbed it. <laughs> he got the rest of the swamp with him. It's like the swamp thing's for real. Dude, we, swamp thing. We pulled him straight out of the mud. Look at that. Thing. <laughs> Put your right finger there and see what happens. Let me see something real quick. All right, guys. So as you guys can see, it, it appears First that- First of all, that looks oh. like a monster. Dude, you know what it is, bro? It's an invasive turtle. Look, it's a red ear slider. Look, 
Look at his belly. But look, he has red ears, though. Red ears, yeah. He has red ears and he has a yellow belly. Is he a hybrid? He might be. Because they can breed with each other, right? Whoa, he just... Careful, Ninja. He just tried getting... Yeah, I'm trying to see his face. Those things bite. All right, y'all. Hey, so we just uncovered this turtle. <laughs> right now, my initial analysis is he is an invasive turtle. Uh, I do see the red ears. I do see the yellow belly. We're going to just keep him in quarantine right now until we figure out some more stuff. But if you guys have any suggestions on what species of turtle this actually is, drop some comments. Let us know. Because right now, we're a little bit dumbfounded right now. We're seeing yellow bellies. Oh, my goodness. And he has the jaws of a snapper right there. Wow. You do not want to play with that, brother. That will mess your night up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Even... Yellow belly, red ears, and snapping turtle jaws. Drop some comments. Let us know down See below. Skew, y'all. We are at the second job of the night, and Ninja has spotted uh, a giant red goanna. Hey, if you guys didn't know, we're starting to do iguana tours. I'm so sorry. Lately, I've been really busy with work. If you guys want to book a tour, all you got to do is email me. Um, you can message me on Instagram, Facebook, or, you know, drop an email. Also, if you guys are following Iguana Ninja, you guys can also comment on his stuff, too, to book a tour as well. Exactly. You know, if you don't, if you hit me up and you don't get me, hit up Ninja. I always answer. Ninja is pretty, pretty flexible with his schedule when he's not out slaying iguanas. <laughs> but nonetheless, y'all, we are back out here in the field. And Ninja, it looks pretty thick. Thicker than store-bought gravy. Whoa, what on earth happened there? I probably dug that. That wasn't like that last A lightning strike. <laughs> Those silly iguanas. Iguanas or iguana. It's probably a giant iguana trying to dig it up. Yeah. Trying to figure out. Oh, I see a baby right there. Baby's right there. Hold on, stop. Hold on, stop. If you want to catch iguanas, all you have to do is believe. Come out to book a tour with the iguana man. If you want to catch iguanas, there's another one. There's nothing to it. with me and you'll be in the world of green invasive iguanas what you'll see might not believe but there are all these invasive going where where get him in here oh it's right there you silly Sneaky How about under? I don't, I don't move the whole thing. That's crazy, down. dude. So it's like a big one dug it out, but the babies are still trying to nest. So silly, iguanas. Silly, silly. It's a little wet here, boys. Yeah. Oh, we all got slides on? All right, cool. No, I'm there for it. All right, boys. Now it's time to go into your pure imagination of the iguanas. If we imagine there are iguanas, maybe our imagination will make iguanas here. I'm just kidding, y'all. That don't make sense. But anyways, y'all, we're back. <laughs> and we're at this job. Keep your eyes peeled. We are in Goanna territory. We are also in snake territory. It's going down, y'all. You guys are watching the iguana man. Ooh, my goodness, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Ninja with the ninja grab. One in the bag. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. They like to move it. Look at this fight. Look at him. He's so cute. Geico, Geico. Geico, Geico. We'll just put him right here. Let's see what he does. It's okay, buddy. Whoa, he does he doesn't like me. It's okay, buddy. You seen the frog? There he is. Look, look, he's just chilling on me. Alright, buddy, you hang out right there. Whenever you're ready to go, you just go, okay? Oh, look at my little friend. He does not want to leave my side. He loves me. He loves me. He loves me. He loves me. You hang out right there, alright, buddy? Oh! And there he goes. Oh, I see Donna. Back into the wild you go, Mr. Anode. Oh my goodness. What do you see? I see a lot back there. Holy smackles. I see a lot of these. Really? 
Oh my goodness, y'all. Look where we're at, guys. Go for the grab of a thousand, bro. Got you, buddy. You no. Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Get in the bed. Oh, yeah. There's nothing to it. There's one more time. Get him. Two more. The grab of a thousand. You ready? Yes, sir. Who? I just seen a rat. You saw a rat? There's a lot of rats out here, dude. Come here, buddy. Oh, there's an owl out oh, there. Oh, look. Look at oh, him. It's a burrowing owl. He's looking right at us. I just seen him move. I thought it was a rat. It's a baby. Really? He really? came up wondering what we were doing. Wait, what do you see, dude? There's another baby right there. Is that a baby goanna? No. I think the, the owl wants one. Want to give him a... Oh, yeah. Oh, keep it there. Keep it there. See if he comes down, swoops down. Keep it there. Don't move. He'll swoop, he'll swoop down for it. He'll swoop down for it. Keep it there. Move him around. Yep. Yo, he'll swoop down for that. He's looking right at it, dude. Let him swoop down. Let him swoop down for it. Hey. He's thinking about it. Yeah, I swear to Bob. This That'll be amazing. Swooping down. That'll be amazing. All right. So as you guys can see, that we have a burrowing now right there. And he's taking quite the interest to this baby iguana. I'm not going to lie, guys. Um, last year, I came out here. Same spot. Was doing a removal. We caught a baby. And one of the friends I was with. I don't know why, but he, he said the owl wanted to eat the baby. So he threw the baby in the grass. And y'all ain't going to believe it, but the owl came down, swooped, and ate it. And we did have video of it. I have to look back and see if the video is good. When I last recalled, it wasn't that good. But if it is good, we're going to play it right here. <laughs> if it's not good, then I'm sorry. You're just going to have to take my word for it. But as you guys can see, evidence of burrowing owls looking for goannas to eat. It makes sense, guys. It makes sense maybe the big iguanas eat the baby burrowing owls so now the burrowing owls are eating the baby iguanas think about it it's the ultimate payback in my opinion ninja is the job secure uh, everything is clear very nice guys we're going to the next job so stay tuned what do you see over there i think i think i spotted a baby godzilla oh what is that, two in the bag? Gosh dang, these little things are little. Look at him, look at him. He's trying to bite, he's trying to tail up, and he's trying to claw. These look nice. Hey, buddy. Wow, I, I, I lost count, actually, how many have you got? I'd say it's somewhere in the 20. Yeah, I think our boss is gonna be super happy about this. Yeah. Getting production, y'all. I see something on this back, oh, it's it a knoll. Is it a knoll? Okay, let's just look at different angles, because we know they like nesting in this area. We are in gator territory. Last thing I need is to be in the jaws of an alligator right now. Even though I might get a lot of views on YouTube, but it might be my last view. Oh. That was definitely a 30 pound gator. He's, oh, he's coming back. He's coming back for his nest. That water is too cold. Let him come back. Let him come back. Oh. Yep, 40 pound gator. That was an iguana. That first one was definitely an iguana. Well, there's iguanas right there. There's iguanas right there. I need to go do my job right now, dude. Oh my god. Wow. They are. Dude, there's a lot of gators in here. They gators are. Gators are iguanas. But we they are. are. <laughs> Where did Ninja go? <laughs> Look, I one. think he died by a gator falling up the tree. There's one right here. Wow, this place is infested with iguanas and gators, y'all. 
Where did he get another bad iguana? That's another bad iguana. Oh, that one just came out. Another bad iguana. And another bad iguana. All of them in the bag. That's five right there, yo. Hey, you gotta risk it for the biscuit. Yeah, there might have been a gator there, but I need to get those baby iguanas, yo. But like I said, whatever you see on this channel, me and Ninja doing and David doing, y'all, do not try it at home. We do all this at our own risk. If something was to happen, it's not the animal's fault, it's our fault. We've been doing soul. this for years. Exactly, guys. Assume all risk and liabilities. Right. Out here. If you guys like this kind of action, you want to come out here in the field and experience this and experience this firsthand yourself, all you got to do is send me a message, y'all. We can make it happen, okay? We discussed everything, but right now we are in the field, so let's keep our eyes peeled. We do have you going to see your move, so stay tuned if you're enjoying this content. Phew, just like that, y'all. Out the gator and the iguana nest. This little iguana went to the market. This little iguana went to the bank. This little iguana went to the supermarket. And this little iguana's name is Frank. And this little iguana cried, wee, 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 all the way. Oh, Jesus. Oh, what on earth is that? Was that a dang monkey? Sounded like a orangutan. Sounded like a dang chimpanzee. Dude, what? There's gators, monkeys, iguanas out here. There's a lot of stuff out here, y'all. We're out here in Florida. Okay, I'm gonna go back in the nest one more time, y'all. These things are really starting to creep me out, so stay tuned. Dave, I'm gonna give you a holler when I go in there and I'm coming back out, all right? Okay. Right there is an indication of a burrowing owl nest that you're not supposed to get within six feet of it. Reason being is those owls are protected. And it's kind of crazy because they live where they're supposed to live, but guess what? Iguanas are stealing their territory. Look at that right there. Look at that right there. So by us killing and getting rid of the iguanas, we are actually saving the burrowing owls. Right now in the comments, comment down, hashtag save the burrowing owls. Because who knows, guys, in a matter of a couple of years, unfortunate to say, these small, cute native owls might disappear forever. All because of these mean, feisty iguanas. And taking, what do uh, owls territory. do for us on in Florida? They get rid of mice, rats, yep. rodents. Oh, yeah. That are invasive here also. Yep. They, 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 They're they a big keep, problem down keep, here. They keep the population of rodents down. Owls are very important down very, here. People very need to know that. Important. And, you know, it's crazy, guys. I'm just at a loss for words right now. But we are doing iguana removal. So we're killing iguanas mm. to save owls, essentially, guys. Drop hashtag save the burrowing owls if you support this movement awesome this is invasive red ants right here really look at them active in the middle of the night yeah. those are the invasive ones seriously oh look at this this is a, a shedding of an iguana paw oh really hmm. interesting yeah. why is there a iguana paw shed there and why are these invasive ants active at nighttime that's weird I had no idea ants were nocturnal. We got the army boys here, those big fat ones. You think the they uh, terminized an the iguana, the ants? Oh, probably. Definitely. <laughs> Look, there's, there's another one. The other one's right here. Really? Sheddings, wow. See, so we got some. Look, he just attacked it all crazy. Look. Oh, my goodness. On the go. So, what he's possibly doing right now is putting down a pheromone to see if it's food or not. It's food, it's gonna leave a scent, everyone else is gonna come in for the kill. If it's not food, it's just gonna mind just, oh my goodness, I think we found Where the they nest. Her, right here, look, no, no, the nest is right here. Wow. You think we should put a baby iguana in there and maybe we can train them? Uh, no, nah, they probably know. I mean, train that them could as, work too. Train them for ants? But, oh, train them for iguanas, to kill iguanas. Look at this shield. We installed these shields here and the, the number of giant iguanas have considerably gone down going up in the trees. That was a major concern. Here's the problem, guys, okay? Some of these iguanas are giant. They're giant like Godzilla. Look what one did right here to this right here. Tori, guys. So we're gonna have to tell management about that. We're gonna have to come over here and fix those. And look at this side right here. And you see the scratch marks on these. Yeah, look, look, these iguanas, they don't care, guys. They're so adaptable that they will find a way to get up and do what they gotta do, y'all. You but check that out. Get check oh, yeah, that out. Don't feel good. Check that out, guys. If this video gets 2,000 likes, guys, I will put my hand and get bit by one of these big red invasive ants. Only if it gets 2,000 likes, though. So like the video right now. So we're at the final job, and the report was baby iguanas were trying to break in the house. 
Now they were hiding inside the screen awnings, going in there. But look, it didn't take us long for us to find where the baby goannas are hiding. Wow. Their tails are a dead giveaway. You silly goannas. Hold on. They're awake. They're awake. They're awake. Look at them. Bro, there's toys. There's six here. Get film, film, film. Don't worry, don't worry. Film that, film that, film that. Film that. You start grabbing right side. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna point. Hold on, hold on. Grab the other side. Look at them, they're wedged up in there. Oh, oh my god. You got them? Oh, okay, we got three of them. One of them escaped. Here, let's put these in the bucket. Come on, let's reload. In the bag, in the bag, in the bag. Look at them, look at them, guys. Look, they're all nudged up in here. This is insane. They're nesting inside of the, in the gutter. They're nesting, they're nesting. Look at, the, look at this. That's insane, guys. They're nesting inside the gutter. One here, one here. Watch your pants. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Uh, actually, yeah. Do you think? Do you think? Yeah. Help them out. Help them out. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh, oh wow. There's one, there's one that fell in there. All right, we're gonna look. Yes, it's okay. Back. A couple of them escaped. A couple of them escaped, guys. But for the most part, we recovered at least 80% of them. Go ahead, put them in the back. Put them in the back. You silly, silly goannas trying to break in. And this is the thing that's weird, guys. These iguanas, they have every other place for them to hide and to nest. Why do they want to nest inside the house gutter, guys? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, guys. And this is what we're talking about. The invasion is real. Why would they choose to nest there? Why? You can nest in that tree. You can nest in that tree. You can nest in this bush. You can go anywhere you want, but you choose to go inside the gutter. Check that left side gutter. Yep, let's recheck it. Go ahead, Dave. All right, Dave spotted another one trying to break in. Look at this little joker. Look at this little joker. He, he, he can go anywhere he wants, guys. He can go anywhere he wants, but he chooses to go inside the gutter look at that little joker right there One in the back. put him in the back bro we have a couple questions for you just go in there why are you sleeping in the gutter you silly silly go at us you see no get oh, yeah, the yeah go 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 dave there's look. two here right? oh my right. goodness oh let dave get it dave you got it oh i got him let me go ahead dave creep on there oh oh there's there is he's trying to escape bag him see there's another one under here give it to yeah, ninja give it to ninja Dave, we're gonna need your help because you're kind of tall, bro. Oh, let me check on here. Yeah, we do a nice thorough inspection, all right, bud? Yeah, that's about it. Do, do we have that? a ladder? No way. I see I can climb. What do you see, dude? Hold on, my, my uncle has a ladder, dude. Hold on. No, they're not there, bro. They're not there? I'm looking straight down. See anything? Um, I like one or two. One or two down there, and then where he's standing, like right here. There's two of them right there? Yeah. All right, there's a chair right there, dude. Get that chair. Dave, go up there and, and get those iguanas, dude. Yeah, here, throw this on your head, dude. Or right, when you come down, when you come down. Come down, come down. No, what the? Wait, what? Are... What on earth? <laughs> what the fuck? Let me see. Here. Catch. Oh, shoot. Nice catch, what? How are you gonna get down, dude? Same way. Not that high. Oh, actually, I didn't see you, bro. It looks like plants from the all the way down here. Oh, okay. Let's get back down. All right. Are you gonna wait? How are you gonna get down, down the tree. dude? You see the light? Slide down the tree. Catch it, right? Let's see this. Do not hurt yourself, buddy. Yeah. Oh shit! Look at this guy. <laughs> get down <somewhere. laughs> Firefighters. Hey, Florida firefighters. Awesome, you're a Florida iguana fighter. That's what you are, dude. Oh, I thought I seen a over there. It's all good. It's all good. It's just like plants sticking up in there. We got them, bro. We yeah, got. You guys got every single one. Of them. There's two of them that I escaped. Two dropped in here. That's okay. They'll come back there tomorrow. They're not that smart. Obviously, they don't know what happened. And their buddies right here, they can't tell. That's an awesome spot. It's crazy. Who knows that? that? I did when I was here the other day. I saw the. I caught. That's where I caught one live. All right, y'all. Hey, that's gonna wrap up tonight's hunt, y'all. The removal was pretty successful as you guys can see we got quite a few of them um drop some comments let me know how many you think we got huge shout out to nature's frontier dave huge shout out to iguana ninja huge shout out to you guys at home 
watching the video and look at all these iguanas that we recovered on the job look at that guy ninja's right this guy's a little feisty let's see whoa oh just calm down buddy calm down look at that guys juvenile baby goanna right there super feisty right out the egg he's gonna be a straight alpha when he grows up look at him look at him guys he's just he's not afraid he's pissed he's angry right now oh whoa and he's feisty calm down buddy all right y'all that's all we have for you today look at them all this is insane comment down below how many iguanas you think we got if this video gets 200 likes we'll go ahead and i'll get bit by those ants all right that's all we have for you guys today it's the iguana man we're with the iguana ninja we're with nature's frontier day and i hope you guys enjoy the video like comment hit the red subscribe